Berger in the beginning of October. I'm going from the third. Is it the third? Right. Let's just see the dates here. I'm gonna book. I've already booked my outgoing. I haven't booked my return yet. So I'm gonna go on the fourth to the. Well, yeah, I'm gonna go to the fourth to the seventh. But I think I might leave here. I might leave London after work on a Thursday just to get that extra kind of day in because you know it's Berlin. The clubs are gonna be open until six a.m. anyway, so I might as well just go out. I might just go out all the way through, just kind of stay out, right? Sleep on the sleep on the uh, sleep on the plane, get into Berlin, put my bags down the Airbnb, have a shower, and then head straight out again. Um, so there's loads of events that I kind of want to go to that I've kind of scheduled in my kind of Berlin calendar. So if you're listening and you're from Berlin, you want to hang out, get in touch, get in touch, leave a comment below and let me know if you're in town and we can do the damn thing. But the plan is to go to the Bergheim, really. That's my main plan. I'm probably going to go there on the Sunday or the Saturday, probably. Saturday, yeah, Saturday morning, maybe. Saturday morning, um, all the way through to Monday. That's probably the, the thing I'm going to try and do. My that's the hard the thing I'm going to try and do the hardest. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, but yeah, going Bergheim, man. Can't wait. I can't fucking wait. So finally, they released the lineup. They don't put the lineup out too early in advance. I'm sure maybe it's like a month. Is it 17? I don't know. They don't put them out too early in advance. They have like a rough schedule of the lineups they're gonna have for um the kind of gig place, the swap, the sole. I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but all the all the, like the club night events and stuff, the club nights events and stuff, they don't usually put them out ahead of time, but this time they did. Um, finally, I've got the list on here, so I can kind of show you guys. So this is me in October. So for October, I have the be the benefit or the beauty of seeing number one is going to be uh in the, the main store place. I can maybe see oh on the Thursday. That's amazing. I can maybe see um VTTS playing. She's really good. I'm not sure about other people. I haven't really heard them of them previously. Then on the Friday, I've got Get Penalized um, with uh, Fumia Tanaka, Margaret Degas, uh, Sammy D, Zip. So the whole Perlon gang. And then on Saturday to Monday, we have the main event, the main flipping event, right? So this is going to be me in Berghain on the beginning of October. So if you're jealous, I don't blame you, right? So I've got Running order at the Berghain. I've got Boston 16A, got Ben Clock, Dasha Rush, Developer, Freddie K, Carl Geiger, Leon, and Olin. Panorama Bar, we've got Cormac, uh, IF, Jennifer Cardini, uh, Kitten, um, Crystal Clear, Massimiliano Palagra, uh, Roxy Moore, and Soundstream. Soundstream, man. Imagine Crystal Clear and Soundstream playing in Panorama Bar. It's going to be so sick, man. I can't wait. Crystal Clear is one of my favorite DJs. Crystal Clear, I've got a funny story about him. I think back in the day when I first was getting started to DJ, when I was DJing on a fucking controller, that's when I first got DJ controller embarrassment. But Crystal Clear is a fucking good dude, man. I was so embarrassed about using a controller, but that's the only thing I had. I didn't have any other equipment. I had like a really crappy Newmark controller and I was playing. I'm going to say, I forgot where it was. It was in a bar somewhere in a shop in Shoreditch. I forgot where it was. I was playing the early set from like six to eight and then Crystal Clear came in and did the eight to 10 set. So I was playing in, in this bar or this this shop in Shoreditch. I forgot it was a story playing. I forgot which one the shop it was. And um, Crystal Clear played after me, right? So imagine that, right? It was like, you're like what the fuck if ever there was a chance for me not to look good right so crystal clear comes after you when you're playing i was like oh no so crystal clear came after me but he was so chill like because i remember before I'd, I'd i'd reading blogs and stuff about how you know corny it was to play on the controller how you weren't a real dj and i was just i just I had a bit of a complex right but he was so nice you could tell he went out of his way not to make me feel like a a loser for using it um, he was kind of complimenting me on the track I played. He was just being a nice dude, right? He stopped over, he played stuff him, and he absolutely destroyed, right? Of course, right? It's fucking crystal clear. So I've always had a bit of a soft spot for him in my heart. You know what I mean? So it's like, that's that's the weird thing about celebrities or the weird thing about entertainers that they probably, this the weird thing that they probably are not aware of, right? All it takes is one interaction, like one interaction, good or bad, for us to kind of, for us civilians to, to frame you in our heads forever, the way we frame you, Right? So if Crystal Clear would have been a dick, I would have forever just had this thing about Crystal Clear on the chip of my shoulder, right? But the fact that Crystal Clear went out of his head just to be a nice guy, I'm forever going to be nice to him. I'm forever going to love the guy, right? Because he didn't have to be nice, and he was, because he just, you know, he's a good dude. Um, so that would be cool to see him there. Soundstream, again, I'm a big fan of, because I'm, you know, I've got loads of his tracks uh, um, that I've clicked over the years, like too many to mention. Um, 
Uh, Roxy Moore, I'm a big fan of too. And Kitten as well be good. And Jennifer Cardini, to be honest. So mostly the Panorama Bar I'm a big fan of because, again, I'm, I'm, I'm probably... If I had to kind of choose gun to my head what I would like best to kind of party to, it would probably be house. So Panorama Bar is a more housey vibe as opposed to the bird guy and techno. But there's something about the bird kind coming up those stairs and seeing everyone kind of just losing their shit that you just can't help but love, right? It's just, you know, it is what it is. Um, standing on the plinths, the dark rooms, the the fact that you can't fucking see the DJ booth, right? <laughs> it just, sometimes when you go into the bird kind, it's so full, it's so electric in there, you can't actually see who's DJing. You can't see them. It's just like full of smoke. It's just full of... It's just I'm getting goosebumps thinking about it now. It's just an amazing feeling. So I, I honestly cannot wait to go back in there. I'm just so looking forward to it. So that's me at the beginning of October. Um, for the most part, it's going to be in there. There might be a few occasions I might pop into um, Grease Mueller. There might be a few times I might pop into Same Heads. I might pop into About Blank. I might go to Golden Gate. I might do a little bit of a tour and just kind of pop in here and there because I'm, you know, I, I'm going to go on my own. So why not just have a good time and just walk around and see what's around. Or walk around and just pop in places, you know, I've got no, I've got no attachments. That's, that's a good thing about going on your own. You don't need to kind of wait around for people. I'm just going to go around and chill. I'll probably end up smoking loads of cigarettes because that's what ends up happening when you go to Berlin. I don't ever smoke cigarettes, but you go there, they've got all these cigarette machines in the nightclubs that you can kind of buy cigarettes from. I'm going to be in there puffing like a fucking idiot. Um, I love it, man. I honestly love that place so, so much. There's no smoke. You can smoke on the dance floor. It's just amazing. I absolutely love it. Um, again, I've, I've always kind of got in when I'm on my own. I've never not got in by myself. So that's going to be, hopefully happens again this time around. I'm not going to count my chickens, but I'm assuming I will. Um, and yeah, Sunday vibes are usually the best place, to, best time to go, right? Sunday, that's when all the OGs go. You go on Sunday morning and you kind of avoid all the kind of, you know, tourists and stuff. Saturday, I think Friday and Saturday are the best times to go. Because I think Friday is only, Pan Panamba is only open on Friday anyway, right? I'm pretty sure Panorama Bar is only open on Friday. That's when the other night was on I saw here on, on here. Yeah, so Panorama Bar is on the where is it? Yeah, so Panorama Bar is the is a get polarized night. So that should be pretty entertaining as well to check that out for the most part. But yeah, it'll be cool, man, to check out. I can't wait, man. I'm really I'm really, really and on it to go. Um I'm really excited. It's gonna be one of the again, I've I last year I went four times. I went four times in one year last year. So this time I'm not breaking that record, but um, probably not. I'm probably gonna go a second time. Probably gonna go the end of November again. Fuck it, cause you know why not. Um, and then I'm gonna probably just stop and then give it a break until the new year. But yeah, I love the place, man. And again, it gets me thinking about as to whether or not I should just like sack everything off and not go out in London anymore and just kind of leave that to the wayside, right? Cause there's so much fun going out in Berlin as compared to you just get so spoiled being there, isn't it? You just like, ugh. but yeah, Berlin uh, beginning of October. From the 3rd of October, I'm there from the 3rd to the 7th. So if you're in, a, so if you're in around Berlin and you live there and you want to hang out, let me know and let's do the damn thing. That'll be fun. That will